Hey guys, in my last video someone asked if you could use the same method to hollow out the back of a signet ring. So in this video, I'm going to quickly show how to do that with a ring I recently made. I'm not going to get into too much detail since I went over most of it in my last video. First, we duplicate our subtool. Then, I'm going to use the slice circle brush, also turning on the square modifier, and just cut out the center of the ring so we can close it up. The reason I do this is to get a better negative shape when I add thickness. If I just left the ring alone and went through the steps to hollow it out, I'd end up with a very small negative piece and only in the thickest part of the ring. Next, we Z remesher it. I just leave it at default. Slice off the bottom since we're not going to be hollowing out the shank, and this allows us to add thickness. Switch to Z modeler brush and use extrude all polygons. Then just add a quick polish. Redynamesh at a lower resolution. Isolate the inside and uh, delete hidden. Select the main part and control shift A and then delete hidden. Close up the hole at the bottom or redynamesh. And then use the clip circle brush to transition the hollow part of the ring to the shank. Make it a negative and merge down. Then redynamesh. And that's it. Check to see if your thicknesses are right. I actually had this ring milled and cast in 10 karat gold without hollowing the back, which I should have done. And here's a few pictures of it. Thanks for watching.